In our last video we saw how to draw walls using relative coordinates. In this video we're going to add openings to our walls and position them also with relative coordinates. An opening in a wall can be added by drawing a transparent wall. Let's add a couple of windows to the wall we drew in our last video. We can see the position of the windows on the wall from this drawing and also from the elevation drawing here. And we can see that our first window is at 250 millimeters from the corner of our room. Let's see how to draw this window at that precise position. Let's start by using the draw wall button to draw a wall. In the drawing editor, let's set the wall parameters to draw a transparent wall that will represent the window. First, let's set the wall thickness to 120 millimeters. That's slightly thicker than the existing wall. The window sill is at 1 1000 millimeters from the floor. So let's set the elevation of our wall at 1000. The height of our window is 1200 millimeters. So let's set the height of the wall at 1200 millimeters. To represent a window, the wall we will draw must be transparent. So let's set its transparency to 100%. Now, as in our last video, let's click coordinate input mode and set it to relative angle. Now let's start drawing our window. If I place the cursor over our wall, I can see that the cursor is automatically snapping to our existing walls and will slide along them. It will also snap to existing angles. As I need to specify a distance from the left corner, I'm going to click the mouse into the corner and place the first point of my wall. We can see that that wall is now snapped into the corner of my room. I'm now going to slide the cursor along the wall in the direction where I want my window and click another point. Now I'm going to set this new point at 250 millimeters from my first one. So in the length coordinate, I'm going to type in 250 and click apply. Now we know now that this point is at 250 millimeters from this one. My window needs to be 800 millimeters wide. So I'm going to slide the cursor along the wall, click another point, and in the length, type in 800. Click the Apply button. We can see in the 3D view, the window is being drawn. But what I don't need is the first segment of this wall. So I'm going to go to the first point and double click it. Double clicking will erase it and only leave me the wall between the first and the second point. When I click OK, I will see the window appears in my wall in 2D and in 3D. To draw the next window, let's again click the new wall button. Note that in the drawing editor, Polyboard has kept the last height of the wall at 1200, but the elevation has returned to the default value of 0. So before we draw the next wall to represent a window, let's reset this elevation to 1000. Note also that the coordinate system is also set back to absolute coordinates. So let's set them to relative angle coordinates. Now let's draw our next window. Let's zoom in onto our drawing by rolling the scroll wheel on the mouse. As the window and the wall are drawn on top of one another, it's quite difficult to see the position of the window. But as we've drawn the window slightly thicker than the actual wall, we can actually see the shaded area where the window starts and where it finishes. We can see that the mouse is again snapping to the ends of the different walls, or in this case, the wall that represents our window. So I click on the right side of my last window and I will start drawing our new wall window. I'm going to move the mouse to the right and click another point. And in the relative angle coordinate length, set the distance between my two windows which is 600 millimeters, click apply. I'm going to click another point to the right and set that to the width of my new window, which is going to be 1100 millimeters and click apply. I'm now going back to the first point and I'm going to double click it to erase that first segment of wall. We can see in the 3D window that the new window is now drawn. If I look at my elevation drawing of my wall, I can see that there is a door on the right-hand side of this room. 
This door is at 280 millimeters from the wall angle and it's also 800 millimeters wide. Without leaving our drawing editor, let's draw the door opening. To stop drawing my window while inside the editor, I'm going to click right and choose quit edition. I'm now going to scroll and zoom back. Now let's have a look at where we want to put our door opening. For the door, I'm also going to draw a transparent wall. To start drawing a wall while in the editor, I'm going to click right and in the menu choose new wall, exactly as we had the new wall button in project mode. I can now start drawing a wall. Note that the elevation has gone back to default zero, but the height has remained 1200. Let's change the height to 2100, the height of our door. The coordinate system has stayed as relative angle coordinates. So if I snap the first point of the wall on the external corner of this wall here, I move to the right, the coordinates are displayed as relative angle. And I can put in here the distance of the start of my door from the corner of the wall, 280. If I click apply, that point is now placed there. I can now draw to the right a point, and this time put in the width of my door, which is 800 millimeters, and apply. I can go back to the first point, double click it, to erase that first segment of wall, we can see in the 3D window that the door opening has been drawn. And if I click on OK, we can see that the openings have been applied to our room.